welcome back my friends to Twisted Stitches. My name is Tammy. It is Wednesday, December 15th, 2021. December 15th. You know what that means? We only got nine more days. What is it, like eight shopping days, nine more days till Christmas. Oh my gosh, it is happening way too fast for my liking. I don't know about you, but way too fast for my liking. I haven't even wrapped presents yet. None. Zero. Zilch. Guess what I'll be doing sometime this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> Wrapping presents. So I hope so far your week has been doing okay. Today is Wednesday. Like I said, it is hump day. We are back for 2021's Christmas Advent from Felicity Yarn Studios featuring the artwork of Miss Georgia O'Keefe. Hi guys, uh, just breaking in here just real quick. So I posted on I posted on the community tab last night that I was babysitting my granddaughter and I was going to get the video up when I got home last night. And when I got home last night, I fell asleep. I fell asleep hard. <laughs> so I am going to actually put up today's video that I recorded a little while ago and yesterday's video kind of together. I'm going to blend them together as best as I can. It'll still look like two separate days because I, I'm not going to chop all the video up into little pieces and try to make it look like... I did two days in one, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. So I'm going to do that. And then also guys, just a, a little heads up. When I do my unboxing for tomorrow, I'm also going to do a video for Happy Mail that I have that I haven't gotten a chance to do and a little bit about whips. And then it, I'll try to get that up uh, tomorrow too. If not, it'll go up Saturday. So trying to get things done. It gets a little hectic during this time of the year. You guys know that. So I will talk to you real soon. Love you guys. Thanks for being so understanding and patient. I appreciate it. Bye. Today's art inspiration is called Yellow Hickory Leaves with Daisy. Now I have a picture of that piece of art right there. I can get three to four different color variations when I search the interwebs looking for the art pieces so I can show you guys. See here, this is like a brighter yellow, some deeper yellows in the back. I'm not sure if the yarn is going to be deeper like that with a little bit of brightness. I don't know if she saw this one and got more green hues to it. Or if she saw this one, this one was the original one that I saw that I believe is more truer to what it's supposed to look like. And maybe because I have the few variations, that's what I've been trying to do is find variations of each of these art pieces just in case she didn't use that particular one. Like she didn't see that one. I, I don't know if she's seen them in person. I guess the best way to do it is to see it in person and have like the best photographer in the world take the pictures of these pieces of art because and well nowadays with the cameras being so high tech you could probably get some really good pictures so I don't know what the deal is with what we've got going on now with all the different variations that I'm finding on the interwebs. Yellow Hickory Leaves with Daisy was done in 1928 and it's a oil on canvas. This is another painting with enlarged details you know beyond the edges of the canvas. And of course it was done like that to hopefully force the viewers to see these plants in new and different ways. So in this painting they were staying, stating that the five top leaves have the light actually striking on top of them creating a lighter hue of yellow with the leaves beneath creating a little bit of a darker deeper color yellow. So there was the artwork tidbit of the day. <laughs> I know you guys are like, oh, please, <laughs> let's take a look at what we've got so far. Now, I can't hang this anymore. This is not staying up. So I'm going to show it to you. We will add the new one on when I after I open it and we look at it. And then I will give you a quick showing of it all together again. Hope that's okay. I think that's the best way to do it so you get an idea. So, so far we have 14 days on our handy dandy little wooden dowel. They are looking gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So here is day 15, yellow hickory leaves with daisy. I try not to. I know some people don't like the crinkling. To me, the crinkling means happiness. <laughs> 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Are you guys ready to see this? She captured it. Yes. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look. Look at those colors. She even has little, see these little stripes of green in here? Because in the painting, let me get the painting. So like I was saying, the little stripes of green in here, and it's very delicate, just a little bit of green. As you can see here, you can see in the leaves, little teeny tiny strips of green, striping of green. So she even brought that detail out. We have the darker golden colors. We have some white in here for the white daisy. We have some beautiful speckling of green, a teeny bit of like a brownish color. More, I think, for just like the inner edges there where you can see it looks almost like a shadow of a brownish hue to it. So, oh my gosh, this is truly amazing. This is a gorgeous yard piece. Oh my goodness. This is so yummy for yellows. And if you are a yellow lover, this is truly a beautiful, beautiful color. Like this will work up absolutely. I could see how this is going to work up. It's going to have just shades of yellow through it with just a little hint of the browns and the greens. And it's not going to be overwhelming or anything. And this year I will be working this up and I will be getting these advents worked up and done. And we will have a chance to see them worked up. I have to, I have to. So there you go. This is day 15 of the 2021 Christmas Advent from Felicity Yarn Studios featuring the artwork of Georgia O'Keeffe. Now we'll put it on our handy dandy little wooden dowel. Here we go. I gotta move it into frame. <laughs> Slide her down a little, stretch her out a little bit. She's all bunched up. Okay. Oh my God, yes, this looks so good. Look, look, look. The advent is just, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The wonderful yardist Zoe has done an amazing job so far. I am so excited. My name is Tammy. Oh. How is everybody doing on this Thursday, December 16th, 2021? So today is day 16 as, you know, luck would have it, of the 2021 Christmas Advent from Felicity Horn Studios, featuring the artwork of Miss Georgia O'Keefe. Today's inspirational artwork is called Sunrise. Sunrise was done in 1916, and it's a watercolor on paper. I didn't know that she did much with watercolors. I had read about her working with charcoal and pencils, but I didn't know she worked with watercolors. So there's something new, something I learned while researching all this stuff. This was during the time that she lived in Texas and she worked as a teacher. She fell in love with living on the Texas plain. I think that's how you'd say it. You won't live in the Texas plains, do you? Anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. So let me give you some information that I found on the interwebs. So let me read from a little blurb that uh, Miss O'Keefe had stated about living in Texas on the plains during this time. This is about all I have when it comes to this particular painting. There wasn't a lot of information on it besides that it was a watercolor on paper and it was done in 1916. Miss O'Keefe stated, the Texas country that I know is the plains. Hardly anybody liked it, but I loved it. The wind blew too hard, the dust flew, and we had heavy dust storms. I've come in many times when I have, where I've been the color of the road. At night, you could drive away from town right into space. You didn't have to drive on the road. And when the sunset was gone, you turned around and went back, lighted by the light of the town. So that was just her thing. She loved living out there in the middle of nowhere where she can, she didn't even have to be on a road and she could just head towards the sunset or head towards the sunrise. And if it got dark, she just started heading her way. She just turned around, came back and she found her way back by looking for the town lights. Sounds like a pretty good life to me, actually. Lately, I've been ready for that kind of life. I don't know about you guys, but it sounds definitely peaceful and yeah, definitely. <laughs> 
So let's open up day 16. Ooh, I'm so excited to see this one. I am wondering what it's going to look like. Ooh, this is so pretty. Oh, and vibrant, vibrant. Deep, deep, vibrant. Look, guys. Look at those colors. Those beautiful pinks. That deep, deep, deep red color right there. And we got a little bit of yellows. Little pale yellow here. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a pale yellow. Look at those colors. And there's a stitch marker. And here is the stitch marker. And here is the stitch marker. It is super vibrant, like this beautiful hank of yarn. So here is all these beautiful colors. And look at here. Spot on. Oh my goodness. This is yart. This is yard extraordinaire. <laughs> I think this is beautiful. I think Zoe the Yardist has done an amazing job of today's advent. Definitely spot on in my opinion. So let's put it on our handy dandy wooden doll. Oh, this thing is getting heavy. There we go. Stretch it down a little bit. I like to stretch them down and give them a little relaxation because <laughs> the other one's been hanging a little bit longer. Days one through 16, exactly in order. So here you go. Take a look. Oh my goodness. I think it's looking beautiful. Wow. Just a punch. Just that punch of color there. That is awesome. I love it. Oh, I love getting a good, after all those neutrals, a little pack a punch with vibrancy right there. Oh, love it. Love it. So there you have it, guys. There is day 16 of the 2021 Christmas Advent featuring Felicity Yarn Studios inspired by the artwork of Georgia O'Keeffe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me another day. And I hope you'll join me tomorrow for day 17. I'm getting so excited. Oh, it's going too fast, guys. Anyway, thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing everything that you do and helping me along the way. I appreciate it very much. You guys are so good to me and you guys are the best. So in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative. And I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow. Love you bunches. Bye.